Hello. 2,000 DPI on this. Are you ready? Well, you could like laser beam yourself in the eye with these mouses. This is... Hello. Hello. Elephant in the room. Oh, are you okay? I'm trying and to lose not, me. It's Jesus all... Christ. And it's not Finny this time. But we did have some no. comments where people... My headphones falling out. <laughs> we did have some comments where people were very happy to see the Winnie. So oh. you're welcome. The dog is the cutest. John's alive. Yeah. But more importantly than that, I've got wireless headphones now. Well, I mean, we, we always... Well, I mean, we've always had the wireless headphones. These headphones. But we'll see if mine lasts throughout the entire video because mine are temperamental compared to yours. Yeah. But I'm going to miss the cable. It was like a connection to oh, you. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> it's like I feel a like connection. I spent like half the episode just like... Ah, so you cable. weren't concentrating no, more not listening. At all. And I still understood more than you. That's not true. <laughs> That's horrible. No, 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 no. Bad behavior. Ow. Sorry. Yeah, that's what you get. That casual domestic abuse to start the episode. Why Sorry, not? guys. We we missed Tuesday. <laughs> and today is Friday. Which means we missed Friday. I don't know when this will be going up because hopefully my editor can edit it for Saturday, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, uh, okay, so the yeah. Tuesday thing is annoying because Last of Us is Sunday night. Yeah. And then Monday is basically cancelled. Yeah, so we stay up. You know this if you watch The Last of Us. It goes live at 2 in the morning. 2 in the freaking morning. And as a reactor, you try your hardest to avoid spoilers. So we stay up for 2, watch it at 2. You know, by the time we do our 20-minute intros and outros, <laughs> it's half past 3 in the morning. And then it's like we're kind of hyped after the episode. So I don't want to sleep. And I got a Final Fantasy game in the bedroom, which was the worst thing we ever did. It's a new rhythm game. It's really fun. It's so much fun. You should buy it. It's really good. So we should, we should be showing these people us playing the rhythm game. Let us know. You, you non-skippers. See, I love this. Because the intro is we get to talk to the actual loyal people. Yes. The lawyers! The, now, the... we do both have gaming channels, but they're like separate. We sometimes collab. It's not often. I sometimes post videos. Sometimes? <laughs> But like, we were kind of talking because we're like, listen, we're funny. We're real funny. I mean, I'm funny. We're, no, I'm funny. No, I'm, I'm the funny one. But I sometimes think I'm funny too. And like, <laughs> things happen when we're playing video games that we're just like, you'll always be like, we should be streaming this. Yeah. In that tone. Yeah. We should be streaming this. And... I mean, you should have seen me last night. I was like, twerking all sorts. He was in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't show that. Listen, much. sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you want to demonstrate? You need to get into the rhythm of the game. No, 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 no. Well, there's no cable. Will to they get do. to see that if they want to see us play video games? You see. Would you like to see us play some video games on this channel? Let us know. It obviously it would it wouldn't mess about with scheduling or anything. It would just be a bit of fun. Yeah. If you'd like that. Yeah, we would still be obviously missing the Tuesday and the Friday episodes of Game of Thrones. Thanks to the last of us. John's alive. John is alive. Have you read the comments from last week? Not really, no. No. John's alive. Me neither. Bruce is dead, which I did. I read one comment and I was kind of like, eh, yeah, I, kinda, I, I feel you there. Where it was like, um, the first like five seasons, what season one, six? Mm -hmm. The first five seasons was all about like plotting and scheming and like, oh, finally this person died, but who done it? Cause everyone wanted to kill them and oh, it was granny and oh, it was little finger. Um, and then in this season so far, we've had like Stannis, dead. Roos, stabbed. Uh, John stabbed. Someone else, was there so? Oh yeah, 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 the, the Dorn, the Dornish guy. Uh huh. Stabbed. And it's like, there's no, there's no like, who done it? Gearing up, there's no intrigue, there's no there's no tacticalness. There's no EastEnders to it. There's no bum 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 ba da 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 Um No, it's just like, oh there you go, he's dead. But it does And it's just kinda accepted that the person who killed them is now like the one in charge. Like and that no one would care about that. Yeah, like the the son, the bastard son, what's he called? Ramsey. Ramsey, how can I forget a name like that? Yeah. Gordon Ramsey. But yeah, like as you say, it's like, what are you gonna tell people? Huh? Well, that he was poisoned. Oh, but by who? Yeah, it's like something like that would end up with- A backlash. You know, yeah, you think that the people who were loyal to Roos, who hated Ramsey because Yes. would sort of like- Freak out? Up, 
like a bit of an uprising and they and, okay i understand like the dorn thing was that was, it was kind of the point of her killing him was like oh none of the people actually care about you you're weak blah 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 so i understand that but then and obviously we're seeing like an uprising from john i, ju- I just feel like it was like oh shock oh shock oh shock and it's like and everything's no, going to just continue as normal there's no like i don't know they, they didn't feel like there was much scheming and i like the scheming He's a schemer. I'm a schemer. He's a dirty schemer. But in my opinion, there is still a kind of scheme going on because they still don't know who killed Joffrey. Really. They blamed Tyrion. Well, yeah, I know, but, I know, but the, that's not a point I'm making. The point, that, yeah, that was, that was geared that up for point. like four seasons. Well, I'm just saying. For that scheme to occur. Nobody really knows. Anyway, anyway, it's such a mild, Complaint. mild whinge. Yeah. But more scheming, please. Luffy would escape. He would just punch someone in the face. Anyways, as always, if you want to watch this unedited, you can head on over to suzilu.co.uk or Patreon, Suzilu Official. Okay, I'm ready. Episode three. You know why we're dragging it out now? Because we're almost finished. Because there's dragons uh, in the No, show. the reason this week has been hellish. Wedding stuff. I know you don't like to hear about it. Whoever you are, that was one a guy. guy. Was the a guy one like, guy. <laughs> one, of, one of the super early episodes that was like, please tell me that they're married already so they stop going on about it. No, we're not. Sorry. I think he's gone now. So Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's just been a hectic week. And it will continue. <laughs> right, let's go! What are you doing, man? I was stuck. <laughs> You're a crazy man. I was stuck. I need to not have a silly table. <sighs> you alright? Is it boring you? Tired. You're always tired. You're always tired, old man. <laughs> There's a couple of storylines that I hope that we get to see in this episode. I want to know what is happening with Daenerys and where all the, the wives go. And I want to see Batman again. I want to see, like, is he almost there? What what's going to happen? Is he going to turn into Stone Man? Like, what's going to happen? I didn't even care about that storyline. And now suddenly I'm just like, ooh. I'd like to see more John. Oh, we're going to see plenty of John. <laughs> and he had one episode and he wasn't really not in it. Oh, yeah. Ah, hello. And Sansa. Oh, oh, he's alive! This is just so good! Freaking, I'm freaking. He's like, you did? What's Cut. his brain gonna be like? Mush. Because we spoke so much about Game of Thrones, I forgot that this was literally the last scene in the last one. I felt like we'd watched a couple episodes between it. <laughs> Lowry. Yeah, you're naked. We didn't get that far yet. <laughs> I'm sorry I chopped off your willy for a snack. Jesus. <laughs> Insert Ramsay with a sausage. But I wonder what the memory is going to be like. Or do you think he's just going to come back as... I know exactly what happened. <laughs> oh, the oh, muscle atrophy there. And does she even know at this point? I don't know if she's like, what, no, I did she... it? They stopped me. Uh-huh. Ollie. Oh, screw him, he's an asshole. We don't care about him. Put a yeah. knife in my heart. Yes, he did. Afterwards, after they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? Oh, God, this is what he's like. Nothingness, just, darkness. Just darkness. Nothing. Jon Snow. <laughs> there was nothing at all. I saw nothing. Stannis was not the prince who was promised that someone has to be. Could you give us a moment? She's like, excuse me! I brought him back! So I got I have questions, okay? I am the chosen one of the Lord of Light, dear! Oh, you can't just throw a lady out like that. Well, you can't. Well, he did. Right, we've got to grab her by the scuff of her neck and fling it out. <laughs> you were dead. And now you're not. That's completely mad, seems to me. 
I can only imagine how it seems to you. Completely mad. I did what I thought was right. And I got murdered for it. Well. Welcome to Game of Thrones. I was going to say, Ned, you know, there's a few there. You fight for as long as you can. You clean up as much of the as you can. I don't know how to do that. I thought I did, but I failed. No, they're just assholes. There's other did. people here for you. They did pretty well. Now go fail again. Oh, I mean, the free folk did come to help you, so you've done something. Oh my god, I just can't <laughs> wait for this scene. I was like, all hail John. Oh, it's a white walk again. Absolute madness. Could you imagine? Gets born to the head. <laughs> Gets born to the head. Can we just hurry up and like go to the other guys and be like, hey, look, 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 he came back from the dead. Because I want to see their faces. Yeah. <clears throat> this guy's going to freak out. They think you're some kind of god. Close enough. I'm not a god. I know that. I saw your pecker. <laughs> what kind of god would have a pecker that's more? Ah! <laughs> Aww. Aww. Listen, it was good enough for Ginger Lady. <laughs> Is that grow or not sure? Well, I'll say he was dead. It's not as if he's gonna have the blood pumping or not. Are we really discussing this? Well, your eyes are still brown. Is that still you in the. Oh, is in the not blue. So. Got you. Yeah, he's not a white walker. Not a white walker. Can you imagine if Sam was here? Oh, I would love to have seen Sam's reaction. I know. Oh, my nose is running. I feel like I'm sad. Where the hell is Gilly going? Well, I guess with Sam across the... What, where were they going again? I thought they were just going to the, 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 the shops. For a pack of six. Are you alright? Yeah. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't look fine, Sam. He's losing some of his body weight, you know. See, see. They're spelled different, but they sound the same. That's correct. It was before I learned how to read, obviously. You know, her character really grew on me. Are you going to be sick? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> you're gonna be sick, no. <laughs> it's okay to be sick. That's why your lady's there to help you. I'll be in the south soon. I'm excited to see Old Town. The captain says it's the most beautiful city in Westeros. There you go. I stayed at Castle Black. There's no women allowed there. The Citadel isn't Castle Black. I don't have a, a Jon Snow or Mace Raymon to help me bend the rules. I'll stay in Old Town then. By yourself, with a baby and no money. Should figure something out. To my home, Horn Hill. My father's. Well, my father, but my mother's a kind woman and my sister's lovely. But you're a deserter of the watch? I mean, well, technically not. It's all over Mandalay. Wherever Mandela. you go, I go too. That's what you said. You did kind of say that, now you're springing it on her. That's not fair. And she's stubborn. Have you met her? Also, he's happy enough to leave his baby like that. Well, it's not his baby, is it? Well, it is. It's wee Sam. To become a maester so I can help John when the time comes. So you'll be safe. Us and everyone else in the world. I don't care about them. Well, no, I do. I don't really. Not as much as I care about you. I do, but I don't really. It's just such a long process, though. It's like, I'm doing everything for you, but it might take 20 years. Might take a wee bit. If you think it's for the best, we trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. <laughs> I'd never do that to the father of my son. <gasps> Aww. Ah, oh, it just gave me the chills. Baby Sam, baby Sam. Oh, oh, <laughs> God, God, yuck. I thought she was getting it then. <laughs> She was definitely in the splash zone. She was. It's such a hard world for women, you know, where it's just like, well, we just can't be together. I'm sorry. It's just kind of messed up. 
Well, it's because he's going to be a priest. And I'm guessing priests don't get to pee pee. No, of course not. The baby. Oh, okay, uh, he's in his dream again. I, I was, was so like, confused. I was like, are we going up to where that little boy is with Sansa's like auntie in there? I, I was know. so confused. It's like I'm watching a different show. I know. It was the Targaryen thing on Jamie's chest that I didn't. I was like, That's, what? What's happened? Ah, see, I thought that was Jamie when we first seen him, but it's not. That one. Yeah. But that one's Jamie. No, that one's Ned. That one's Ned. That's baby Ned. Do, 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 do. Where's my sister? Uh oh. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Oh, you better be answering that question, sir. Because he ain't gonna let you walk away. And now it begins. Oh! Oh, look at that! Drill wielding! Kiko! Now it ends. It's funny because even though he's younger, I can see Ned in him. Yeah. It's weird. Horses are just like, hurry up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's oh. Oh. Okay, he's got two swords, isn't it? These are all just the worst ways to die. What was Bran trying to find out by the history? I don't know. Or is he just bored and he's just like, let's recap? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Naruto flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yo! This guy's a bloody Jedi! Oh! How can Bran have no reaction to this? Uh oh. It's gonna be a, wee, a 1v1 Ned. Oh, will Ned survive? Find out in the <laughs> next episode. No, I think he might die here. Oh, but then this story will never happen! That's time travel, man. See the fact that someone might have thought you were being serious? <laughs> no. Gets me. Bran actually interferes. Far better. So then how does he win if he's far better? Oh, we're gonna have to see, aren't we? His father beat him. Did he? What do you mean? Of course he did, he's alive! I've heard the story a thousand times. You never know though. They made it to season one! Oh! Someone had already been stabbed. Well, he did technically kill him then, you know. War's messy, okay. What's in the tower? Sister. Time to go. Father! Oh! No, he can't be there. He can't hear him. A dangerous influence in the past. What the hell? He heard him! He totally heard him! See, but now you've got complicated time travel rules, which is, in doing that, has he just changed what, what, what happened? Yeah, was he too late he for going, something? Is he going to wake up a turkey? He heard me. Maybe. Maybe he heard the wind. He heard me. He heard him? Of course he heard him! The timing! What's in that tower? I want to go back there. I've told you many times. Stay too long where you don't belong and you will never return. Why do I want to return? So I can be a cripple again. Well, it's not just about you, though. It's a bit selfish. You won't be here forever. <clears throat> you won't be an old man in a tree. Thank God for that. You must learn. Learn what? Everything. Oh, jeez. I'll take a god long time! That's crazy, though! That is crazy! I don't want to learn everything! Well, like, he, he was there! He could change everything! Maybe he couldn't. Maybe it already happened. Depends what flavour of time travel you ascribe to. Time travel's a bit strange, though, isn't it? Oh, very nice. Good dress a bit, do you? Listen, vibe, just because she got a booty, okay, you don't insult the booty. Oh, this doesn't look so bad. We settlement. Uh, at least they've got roofs. 
Hey, at least she's got cool hair. I wouldn't recommend dyeing it like that, though. I did it last year. Oh, <laughs> it's not good. They're just raging because they don't get to tap the... So what, is she, she getting cased in gold like a brother? Or? <laughs> you were saying about tapping that? Well, sometimes everything's got to get out in the open. Stick that where the sun don't shine, we're going to have a problem, lady. Well, here you go, you get some rags. Not allowed to be beautiful. Because I was busy. I was busy being a queen. Yeah, I well, I'm sorry that when he died, you did nothing. Mm. Not my problem. I don't want to stay here. It's boring. Oh. It's just another place for it to take over. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, you haven't met this woman. She does have dragons. And she is a queen. And she also has some of the best people coming for her. They could take down the entire army. I think so. If we could have the room. I love that he just knows how to be, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm the only one here, but yep, yeah, yeah. off. If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. Though it so often is what people deserve. <laughs> All right. My job is to find the right answers. Do you know how I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Vala. I don't know how he's actually yeah. got this far. He, like, surely would have made some mistakes along the way. Oh, yeah. The Unsullied and the Second Sons are foreign soldiers brought here by a foreign queen to destroy our city and our history. Don't push him. I understand. <laughs> well, that makes perfect sense from your perspective. Ah, see, there's always two perspectives and then the truth or something like that. <laughs> I think it's important that you try to see things from my perspective, just as I will try to see them from yours. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. Uh-oh. That is how you pronounce it. Dom. I'm afraid I don't really speak the language. It's actually the origin story of Fast and Furious. Family! <laughs> you won't torture me, you'll just threaten my son. Children are blameless. I have never heard them. It's like, how dare you say such things? I would never. Yep. You did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. So your wee boy will be left alone. How will poor Dom get on without his mother? And with his breathing problem? If I tell you anything, they'll Oh kill my him. God, he's so good, I can. So good at being bad. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. Yo! No, I'm afraid we'll have to ask one of our leather-clad friends back in to carry it. You kill someone with that? The boat sails at dawn. You need to decide now. A new life for you and Dom. Or... Well, just stick around and find out what happens. God, he's so good. <laughs> <sighs> wonder if we just kill it anyway. Save a lot of silver. Hey, don't be looking at Tyrion like that. What would you be talking about if I weren't here? Patrol. <laughs> when I am going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol, what we capture on patrol, 
That's good. That's very good. That's it's very interesting. Hmm, yes. A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? Me. Me. <laughs> Just now. He is a wise man. You'll learn this. Well, he's something. All right, no conversations. Let's play a game. But Tyrion's so good at talking, though. Why would you not want to talk to him? My master, Krasnys, would sometimes make us play games. There, that's a start. Only the girls. Oh, no, no. Okay, not that type of game. Maybe later. Innocent games, fun games, drinking games. We do not drink. God, Why? these people are so boring, she says. I don't drink. <laughs> All right, no drinking. We can play without drinking. It's a wonderful game. I invented it. Here's how it works. We should braid each other's hair, except for him. And if I'm right, I drink. Maybe we can't play without drinking. <laughs> oh, you took your time. <laughs> oh, thank God somebody can talk to. The good masters of Astapor and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. You see? You don't even have to worry about the local rebellion. It's everyone else. If the Unsullied march off to reconquer Astapor and Yonkai, who remain to defend the free people of Marine? If we do not fight them, how can we stop them? We cannot. The masters speak only one language. Pain! If we want them to hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever hear. You may be right. So we will fight them? Possibly. Possibly. Tyrion's like, as long as I don't have to fight anyone, he's like, because I, I just don't. Not again. Never works out well. Of course, men can be fickle, but birds I always trust. Oh, I can. I just think he's great. <laughs> he is. He's probably one of my favourite characters. I think if it wasn't for those two being there, though, they'll just get taken over so easily. Oh, yeah. He called us his little birds. He gave us sweets. We all like Lord Varys. Guess what I happen to find today? Candied plums. And oh. <laughs> yeah, candy plums! All I need in return are whispers. Oh, I suppose you can always trust kids when it comes to candy. Yep. Oh, to zombie man! <laughs> this is Sir Gregor. He's friends with all my friends. So Jamie's in on the uh, mountain then, I see. Mm, seems that way. What did you do to him exactly? <laughs> I haven't been able to get a clear answer. Oh, uh, a number of things. Does he understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in <laughs> the first place. Gee, that gave me a heart attack. He's a zombie! <laughs> the High Sparrow has hundreds of faith merchants surrounding him. Sir Gregor can't face them all. Why not? He have to. He'll only have to face one. Oh, what's the plan here, Cersei? Hmm. I want little birds in dawn, in High Garden, in the north. I don't have enough sweeties for that. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets covered in... I want to hear. I want to know who they are. I want to know where they are. She really just can't take people talking about her, can she? No. She's kind of stupid though, it's like, because you could never be a high status without someone talking about you negatively. Yeah. Like, she's so insecure. And what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. We never sanctioned this, this experiment. Shh. And I, for one, think it shush, would be shush, in our shush, best shush, shush, to shush. have the beast destroyed. How did you not hear the door open? Because he's an old man! Maybe he's got bad hearing on the left. I was invited, my dear to help deal with several troublesome issues, such as the Queen's imprisonment. Thank you for bringing it up. It's well past time we address the abuses I endured. And uh, not you, honey. <laughs> you're not the you Queen. Not the Queen, because you're not married to the King. I do appreciate these things can get a bit confusing in your family. Well then, <laughs> oh Jesus. The Lord Command of the King's Guard does have a position on the small council. And Maester Pycelle, would you sanction that statement? Well, um, I would say uh, Sir Gerald Hightower had a seat oh, on the Mad God. King's Council, uh, of course. Oh, for God's sakes, man, shut up. 
the same women who murdered Marcella have overthrown House Martell and taken control of Dawn. We've got a lot to discuss. All of us, together. And seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. Oh man, Granny needs to do something to Cersei. She just... Not unless you're gonna have that thing murder us all. Oh, I like that. Yeah. See ya. Oof. Meeting adjourned, ladies and gents. Monsters. Oh, God. He's like, please don't. <laughs> no wonder he'd be terrified. Well, that went well. Do you guys want to discuss it? <laughs> oh, man. My mother would like to see her daughter's final resting place. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Grace. That's not possible. Not yet. When will it be possible? When she's fully atoned for her sins. What? She has, though. She walked through the street. I don't get it. That wasn't a full atonement. No. What? It was. I am the king. You are. And? What does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. Do you know who told me that? And why did you threaten the crown? My mother who is unclean. My mother who still needs to atone after all you've put her through. I was going to say, I'd stand down on this one, guys. Oh, He's no. the king. He needs to learn, so good for him for just going in and being like, right. I'll just give her a bash. What's the worst that could happen? There's a great deal of falsehood in Cersei. You know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Her love for you she has a good is mom. more real than anything else in this world. In a way. Because it doesn't come from this world. She will murder for her kids. I mean, she'll do anything for her kids. Your Grace, do, may I do mine? It's, it's my niece. I, d I don't trust any of this. I hate this guy. What are you hiding under there? Go pull out a shotgun. I still don't understand why you want to put her through any more than she's already endured. It's not what I want. No, it's it is. The gods want. They make their will known to us, and it's up to us to either accept or reject it. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm the king, and I'm above the gods. Please. No. No, there's spikes under that. It's Game of Thrones. There is spikes under that. This is what they do to the altar boys. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can. And no one is wiser than the gods. Oh, jeez. My grandfather once said something similar. So he said no one's wiser than him. The gods work through him whether he knew it or not. As they work through your mother. Oh, oh, I feel like half of the place has been working through his mother. <laughs> the best we can do is to help each other bring it out. So you're trying to not work with the king? No, don't listen to him. And he's so young and naive, that's the thing. He'll just believe anything. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, my mom, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she had Still the most confusing storyline ever. What do you mean, she's got no eyeballs? Yeah, I know, but the whole like face god and... The many face god. <laughs> Who were you before you came here? Are you stuck? Slightly unfair, you know, I'm blind, can we not? Her mother was Catelyn Stark. She had one sister, Sansa. But 20 and brothers. Four brothers. <laughs> I'd like to see you fight blind. Maybe she did have to do all of this, you don't know. Well, maybe. Rob, Bran, <laughs> Rickon. Rickon! He was a bastard. Oh well, they're half brother, there you go. And where are they now? They may be dead for all the girl knows. It's like if this is their way of getting people to tell the truth, maybe tell people would be hand. nicer. <laughs> also dead. Well, it might not be. Who did she say, Bran? The hound. Oh, the hound. Arya Stark left him to die. He was on her list. He was not on her list anymore. She'd taken him off it. I told you! I told you she never wanted to kill him! Yeah. That's why she left him, because she hoped that he didn't die. Who else was on Aya Stark's funny little list? 
Oh, how funny. Cersei Lannister. Gregor Clegane. Walder Frey. You'll now be on it too. <laughs> the rest of them are dead. Are you sure you're not forgetting someone? I think it's her. She wants to kill her. Which name would you like a girl to speak? <laughs> I wish sure she had a lot longer list though. I thought she had a longer list too. Oh, she's turning down the Nightwing! She has a break of in half for Nightwing though. That's true. It was Robin, wasn't it? That's it. That's all that was needed. Come on, Vision! Come on! No, Vision's from the MCU. He's not DC. There's Groot as well, look! Groot's here! I want her vision to come back. Oh, okay. Do I want vision to come back? Tells me her name. I will give her eyes back. Don't need my eyes, bro. A girl has no name. Come. It's such a weird thing though, isn't it? It's like, can I not just be like, Susie? No. No, yeah, you get punched in the face. Punch in the throat. Uh oh. This is the mixture that maybe she put together. One had the X on it though, right? I no, thought, I think it's just water. I thought if you drank from that, you died. I don't know. It's all very confusing, you see. Well, she gave that water to someone who died and then she stole her face. If a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. That's a scary Halloween face, isn't it? It's just the eyes. The eyes put me off. She's like, oh my god, it's Buxton! <laughs> you didn't Buxton. I Jesus live for Christ. Buxton water. Come on, give the eyes back. Yeah. Can't die if you're already dead. I swear, every time that storyline comes along though, I'm just kind of like, hey. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. I'm sure it'll mean something at some point, you know, it always does. When my father became Warden of the North, your house refused to pledge their banners. Your father was a. <laughs> okay. I might have done the same to my father if he hadn't have done me the favor of dying on his own. My father was poisoned by our enemies. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Sure. We need to help each other. The colder it gets, the farther south those goat fuckers will roam. Won't take them long to get here. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? <laughs> <laughs> you should see what's out there. Traditionally, a banner man kneels before his lord. I'm not doing that either. Why would I trust a man who won't honor tradition? Your father honored tradition. Where'd I get him? I've got a gift for you. Oh! Oh no! A girl, I hope. He's got Reek back, redhead. isn't he? A girl. Oh, Aye. two girls. Oh no! 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 I like them wild. And a boy. No! You literally said the other day, where was his brother? Yeah, where was Rickon? Oh. Who's this? Rickon Stark. How did you get captured, young lady? Because his house was famously loyal to the Starks. So that's where they went. Oh. <sighs> ah! Of all the places, of all the guys. Welcome home, Lord Stark. Brilliant. Like my heart just dropped, absolutely just dropped. I can't believe we were literally just talking about them the other day. Yeah, like, where did they go? Them, we yeah. haven't seen them in ages. Just get some Kevlar in there, mate. I just want to see his face, though. I want to see all their faces. Be like, hi, hey, how we doing? I'm alive. Oh, hi. Oh, they're gonna hang the wee boy! <laughs> oh my god, look at you excited. If you have any last words, now is the time. You shouldn't be alive. Oh. It's not right. Well, sorry, that wasn't my choice. <laughs> I didn't do it. You think I care? 
I shouldn't be alive, or you guys shouldn't have murdered me. Could you write it? Tell her I died fighting the wildlings. No. Man. No, you're a traitor. Hey! How we doing? You brought an army of wildlings into our lands. An army of murderers and raiders. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. But the nice watch are all murderers and raiders and... That's why they're there in the first place! I don't know. Now I rest. Like, if you'd if seen you what was out there, though! Lord Snow. You'll be fighting their battles forever. Well, no, I hope they don't live forever, I just saying. <sighs> <laughs> what about you, wee man? This one's kind of sad, actually. Because he's young, you know. Go on then, spit on me. I'm gonna face. No last words then, eh? Hey. It is kind of messed up though, hanging someone that young, but he stabbed him in the heart. What are you gonna do? You have to do it, John. See ya! Well, at least it's silent, but it's still kind of messed up a wee bit. What a shame. What a shame that they had to betray him. Jesus, I don't know why they were like... I was like, okay, okay, I didn't need to see that. <laughs> it just looked so real. Right, burn the body. <sighs> John's like, I came back alive for this. You should burn the bodies. What is it? What do you want me to do with this? Wear it. Burn it. Whatever you want. Oh. You have Castle Black. What? He's stepping down. My watch is ended. No! Wow! Well, no, it can't! You just came back alive! Where are you gonna go? Honeymoon somewhere? I mean, he died, so technically, like, he's free of his oaths. You know? Imagine that, though, right? You'd think that you would want to come back and kill them, the people that killed you. But, I don't know. Maybe he had, like, a good sleep when he was dead, and then he's woken up and he's like, oh, come on! Like, I'm not dealing with this the, again. Yeah. <sighs> Comes back straight oh. into violence, you know? Like, yeah, he's tired. Like, right. He's had enough. Like he, like he says to Onion Knight, he's like, I've done the right thing and got killed for it. Yeah, now I've come back and you want me to just keep on doing this. Yeah. Like, he's tired. Ah. <sighs> Well, I would have celebrated more about a teenage boy getting hung, but you know, the internet's a funny place. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. I mean, yeah. There was a bit of an understanding. There was an understanding there between how I felt. I mean, there was a lot of people talking about if that was your parents, how would you feel? la di da And, like, I get that. Like, I understand that. But I still... I don't like that they decided to make the decisions that they did, which ultimately was like, let's just stab our commander. Because that's always a good well, one. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, okay, your your parents got killed by the wildlings and whatever, but you still then chose to betray... You chose violence. You chose to betray your leader. Then, yeah. The person who took you in. So what does this mean for the wall now, though, if he's going to leave the wall if he doesn't want it? I don't know. You were all like, well, we have to bring John back for the wall. And now all we're left with is the red woman who's like, wait, John, I need yeah, to come with going, you. Yeah, like, is, is, is John going to, to, to lead the wildlings or like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. That's by watching the next episode. Yeah. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Oh. And this video is sponsored by... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this would be the worst that we do a sponsored segment right at the end of the episode when I'm nobody's not watching. I'm sponsored by nobody, it's fine. I just need a snackaroo. Yeah, I'm surprised at that. I thought that we were going to have like almost a happy John to be like, I'm going to kill you guys for what you did. Yeah, and then just like, look, right. And be right. like, right boys, let's That's go. That's clean tonight, it's watching it, bro. You know, but nah, he's completely broken. Mm. I think it's being betrayed like that. It's like, well, how could a... How could I stay here when obviously people felt that strongly that I'd done something wrong that they wanted to murder me? Yeah. So. 
So I'm getting out of here. Mm. Fresh start, you know, yeah. out into the wild. Yeah. So that was a good episode. That was a good episode. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching us react to some Game of Thrones. And we'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs>